Last summer, I helped filmmaker and former SDSU grad student Destin Cretton shoot a scene at the KPBS studios for I'm Not a Hipster, a film set against the backdrop of the San Diego indie music scene. Why'd you leave the farm? You wanted to be closer to the ocean? No, I, I hate the beach. <laughs> Seriously though, man, why'd you pick San Diego? Uh, there's a lot of cities with uh, indie music scenes, you know? I hear Austin's nipping at our heels. I never suspected that within a few months, he would have the film edited and accepted into Sundance. What's even more surprising is that Cretton won't be the only San Diegan holding a world premiere at Sundance. I'm not surprised at all. A lot of, a lot of good talent comes out of San Diego. James Vasquez is an executive producer for That's What She Said, a raunchy comedy screening at Sundance's next program. He and Mark Holmes have been running Daisy 3 Pictures out of their Normal Heights home for the past eight years. We are two of the Daisies. The third Daisy, Carrie Preston, couldn't be with us today. But we did recently just cut a little promo video for the next program at Sundance where Carrie introduces the film. So we wanted you to meet Carrie and hear a little bit about the film. So we're going to play that for you now. Hi, I'm Carrie Preston. I directed That's What She Said, which will be appearing in the next category at the 2012 Sundance Film Festival. My production company, Daisy Three Pictures, produced the film in association with Locomotive, and we shot it in 20 days here in New York City. Vasquez explains that both San Diego films are screening as part of the recently added sidebar called Next. The next program, I think, is Sundance sort of getting back to its original roots and supporting and showcasing filmmakers with strong voices and uh, give filmmakers an opportunity to, to bring films in that, that aren't of high budgets, that are really of limited budgets or no budget movies as we jokingly call them. Holmes is thrilled that the first film they submitted to Sundance got in. It's the biggest independent film festival in the world. It's the film festival that everyone wants to get into because getting in a lot of times means the difference between getting some kind of distribution deal and not the difference between actually your film getting a life and not. So it's a huge, huge thing to get in. You get accepted to Sundance and the phone starts ringing immediately with distribution companies calling, wanting to set up appointments, wanting screeners of the film. Films like That's What She Said go to Sundance with the hopes of locking down a distribution deal. But promoting a film at the festival has been changed in recent years by social media. We have a That's What She Said Twitter account. Uh, we've been marketing through Facebook. The trailer has been on the Hollywood Reporter site. The internet changes the way you have to market now. You don't have to be out there standing in the cold, handing out postcards as much as I think you used to. Now no one is holding a postcard. Everyone's holding an iPhone. So if you've posted a trailer or like a link to the Sundance page for the film on Facebook, they're looking at it on their phone. Technology also means Holmes can edit on his home computer and easily share files with Preston across the continent. That makes it easier to stay based in San Diego. So suddenly there's this thing where it does not matter where you are. I mean, we're in San Diego, but other parts of the film were being done on the East Coast, the West Coast. I mean, the world has just completely changed in five years as far as what you can do and where everyone can be while you're doing it. Right now, the three daisies are sitting in a theater watching their film unspool at Sundance. And according to the internet, they don't have to worry about filling seats. All their screenings are already sold out.